I know you back there chilling. I know you back there chilling. Yo, lockout. What's up, man? What's what's good? What's good? What you know about Stevens Transport, Drew? Not much, man. Not much. I know they're a mega carrier out of Texas, but um, that's that's about as much as I I know about it. Texas, man. I'm telling you guys. That's my second home down there. Shout out to Texas. You know they had a, a tanker division and uh, now it's closed? What you talking about, bro? They closed down the tanker division? Hey, what? What's going on out here? What is going on out here, man? What? All these companies are shutting down. What was the reason why Stevens shut down their tanker division? It says right here in this article, man, that's, um, that the Texas-based company, Stevens Transport, the company which provides service to energy companies in Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and New Mexico, is ceasing its business operations on October 15th or sooner, according to the notice that was sent out to the Texas Workforce Commission. This will result in a permanent job loss for all of its staff. Again, that is crazy. That is crazy. Stevens is like is is like one of the one of the largest mega carriers out there and and the reason why, you know, I, I'm gonna credit Stevens as the reason why I got my tankers. It also states, the general decline in the industry has taken a terrible toll on Stevens Transport Tanker Division. The letter states, despite your great sacrifice and commitment, it is with deep regret that I must notify you that Stevens Tanker Division will cease all operations on Tuesday, October 15th, 2019. All those drivers, man. All those drivers, man. I mean, what's going to happen to them? You know, I mean, are, are they going to are they going to find other work? I'm I'm assuming some of the drivers that's working for Stevens is the, the reason why they're working for Stevens is because that they got their tankers in the tanker division. What's going to happen to all those drivers, man? You know what you should do, right? You, you know what you should do, right? You should make the call. All you have to do is stay. Yo, Lockout Men here, back in the truck, and back again with another episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call. Welcome to the show, everybody. Well, check it out. I, I sent out a post. I sent out a post uh, about a week ago about who you guys wanted me to call next. Now, at first, I thought to myself that, hey, maybe I should call Pam. Because, you know, I had some requests for Pam. But then I came across this article about what happened at Stevens Transport and their tanker division. Well, the tanker division closed down, shut down, out of business. Whatever you want to say about it. They, they laid off about 600 drivers that was in their tanker division. And I believe that was Frank Sin or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But I, but I put a question, you know, a, a suggestion out there to you guys, and I said, what do you guys think about uh, me calling Stevens and or Pam? You guys was like, yo, let's uh, let's give Pam a try. Pam. All right. What about Stevens though? A couple of other you guys was like, all right, all right, let's go ahead and get with Stevens. So that's who I'm going to call today. I'm going to call. Stevens Transport. Yes, sir. You know, you guys want to know what's going on with Stevens at the time. 
is is the tanker division going to affect the company as a whole are they still bringing on drivers are they are they still uh doing their cdl school let's find out stevens transport they just said bam in ohio i guess i'm from ohio that's why they why they, you know aiming it towards me but three week cdl training no experience needed now is three weeks long enough to 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 get the experience you need to drive one of these things really i mean i when i went to school it was more like more like a couple of months but they say they can have your license in your hand in three weeks no experience needed let's see join Stevens transport family as a professional truck driver in just a few short weeks our training program will prepare you for a trucking career earning up to fifty thousand dollars in just the first year I I, I want to say I don't know I don't know in my first year when I got into trucking I didn't touch fifty thousand maybe 45 at the max but not 50 not even 60 what they even talking about but they said they can have your CDLs in your hand in three weeks and boom in the first year you'll be making 50 grand Stevens Transport been rocking in business since the 80s man Stevens Transport has remained one of the largest family owned and operated trucking company out of Texas Texas, yes. It's my, I'm going to say I adopted Texas as my second home state, all right? Family is a top priority at Stevens, and those values are integrated into everything we do, every day. With no layoffs, I don't know, you, you guys just laid off a bunch of drivers. In our company's history, our employees can focus on what imp what it, I mean, can focus on what's important and ensure that their job is secure. Our award-winning service and reputation paired with exceptional equipment and resources provide numerous opportunities to be achieved success company-wide. Look, Stevens Transport is, uh, is considered a mega carrier, right? So they, they got a lot of they got a lot of lanes that's available to you guys. Let's see. Excellent advanced opportunities. Average about twenty-eight to three thousand miles a week. Haul Fortune five hundred companies, highly skilled drivers, support team, and an industry leading safety program. With all that said, man, let's 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 find out a little just a little bit more about Steve. Alright, so let's check it out, man. Stevens Transport. You know what I'm saying? Stevens Transport. Let's see, uh, let's see what Stevens Transport is all about, man. So Stevens Transport is out on Military Parkway in Dallas, Texas. The number of vehicles they got, 1,953. Number of drivers, 2,426. Hmm. That that variance is way off, at least by a good 500 or so. So, is is it possible of you getting the getting the truck when you when you go up in there? Is it possible? Is it plausible? I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. With with, with over 2,000 drivers there and 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 only and only. 1900 trucks you might have a problem grabbing a truck out of Stevens transport so with no further with no further ado man let's go ahead and get Stevens transport on the phone Stevens Lorianne hey Lorianne how you doing today fine how are you I am fine thank you thank you um I'm a I'm a CDL holder. Um, I talked to a couple of a couple of you guys, uh, truck drivers that was out here on the road. So I decided to give you guys a call to uh, to get a little bit more information about the company. Um, 
I'm also in a I'm also in the Facebook group, so the information that you give me today, I can be be happy to take back with with me to my Facebook group and let them know that I, you know, talk to you guys. There was there was a couple. Let me, let me ask you, are you, do you already have an application with them? Uh, no, I don't. I'm, I don't have an application with you guys. Uh, I just I'm I'm just calling to get you know doing my research, so I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to put an application. Okay, in. let me tell you a little bit about the program. Do you want to be and can you be out over the road three to four weeks at a time over the road? Yeah. Okay. All right, you can do that. And we drive in for Interville freight liners. None of them are any older than human, so uh, we've got great equipment, um, great great benefits. You know, I'm, I, I, I've been driving for close to five years, so <laughs> over the road, local, regional, I, I, I've done them all. But I'm, I'm curious to know, you, you, I'm out of Ohio, so you don't have any, any regional? Regional dedicated out of Ohio, yes we do. Oh, okay, you okay. The, the regional dedicated come after been over the road that three to four weeks at a time over the road. Okay. Okay, so then you wait, that wait, 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 wait. After the ninety days of being over the road. Okay. And it's everybody that goes and gets the truck. If you're out three weeks, three days off. Four weeks, four days off. Okay? Okay. My I'm okay. you you kinda lost me there for a second. So I gotta go over the road first before I get uh, a regional position? It's a regional or dedicated, yeah. It doesn't matter if you had 30 years experience, that's the way it work. So you will, if I'm out three weeks, three days off, four weeks, four days off, get a day off for every week that you're out, okay? So how long, how long do I have to, how long, how, how long do I have to do that in order to get... The, the first 90 days. Oh, the first 90 days. First 90 days. Yeah. Okay. And okay. then you can get dedicated and Okay. Everybody starts out over the road in the first 90 days. Okay. So where's where um you so we do we do all 48. Is is it um is it force dispatch? Yeah. So it is force dispatch to New York uh, City and uh, California or no? What about what about New York and New York City up in the Northeast? Yeah, we have loads that way. Okay. And we have a lot of loads that way. So, yeah. I mean, I, you know, and then when you get the region, we're dedicated after that 98. So, if okay. I could get you to feel, can you hang on just one second? Okay. Hold up. Let me just stop right here right quick. You know what I'm saying? First thing first, I want to apologize for the sound. The sound is not good, y'all. Uh, I was playing around with this new camera, and unfortunately, the mic and the camera circumvent my good mic that I'm talking to you guys right now. So that's first. I want to apologize about the sound. And secondly, the call, this, this first recruiter that I talked to, man, it, to me, I just felt that it was kind of bland. It was like, yo, whole hummish, uh, I don't want to be bothered with you because you didn't put in an application type deal. Um, what she was saying, what she was saying about uh, the OTR, yeah, when you come into the company, you got to go OTR for like 90 days before you can get into a a uh, regional position or a uh, dedicated position or something like that. But you got to give up 90 days to go, you know, 48 states, man. And I just felt like, yo, I, I can understand that for a new driver, but 
I'm a I'm an experienced driver, damn near veteran. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not a veteran yet, but shit, you know, four or five years. You know what I'm saying? So when she told me that, I was already turned off. You know, I was like, man, no, I'm in my in the back of my mind. If I was a new driver that was looking for, you know, this company to get with, in my mind, I'm already turned off because. You know, you, you got to come in and go uh, OTR first before you can even, you know, get a dedicated or uh, or a regional position. Nah, man. But, yeah, she she put me on hold and the hold just felt like an eternity. y'all. I mean, it was only like maybe five, five, ten minutes. But still, it, it felt like an eternity for as long as she put me on hold she didn't come back so i i just felt that she gave me the brush off and i was like oh okay that's how it's gonna be all right well let me go ahead and call again She put me on hold for like a good five, ten minutes, man. That's that's not cool. And I wasn't even and I wasn't even able to answer ask any of the questions that I wanted to ask. It was like boom, in your face, boom, hurry up, boom, this is what we offer, boom, this is what you want. We want you to fill out an application. I but I don't want to fill out an application yet. Alright, let's let's try it again. Stephen Transport, this is Brittany. Yes, Brittany. How you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I am well. I'm I'm fine right now, but I'm feeling kind of kind of dejected because I called uh, maybe about five ten minutes ago, and I was talking to a recruiter about Stevens Transport, but she put me on hold, and I guess she forgot about me. <laughs> so. Okay. That's I, not so basically, uh, you know, uh, I'm a four-year truck driver, and I, and you know, I already talked to some of the Stevens Transport drivers, and you know, me being a, you know, me being in a Facebook group, I thought I, I thought I'd give you guys a call to see if, see if, you know, what you guys got to offer, and see if I'm interested in it now. Before right. I, be, before before we go on, I, I don't want to put in an application yet because right now I'm just trying to get a feel for what you guys offer. So right. So is is that okay to, to talk to you right quick? Sure, I can ask a few questions. Oh, okay, cool, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you. Um, so. I'm, I'm on the website right quick, and I noticed that you guys uh, have a CDL school. Now, I, I have my license already, all right? So, I'm on, class I already How long has it been since you drove? Oh, I, I've been driving for about four years. So, yeah, it's going on. Okay. It, it's, it's going on five now. But, yeah, I've been driving. But, so, you're driving currently? Yeah, I'm driving currently as well. So, okay. Are you OCR or regional or what? No, I'm regional. I'm regional. And where are you located? I'm out of Ohio. You're in Ohio. Okay. Are you willing to drive nationwide? Uh, that's something that I might. That's something that might be considered. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking more because she was telling me that we, when we come into the to to the company, we have to go OTR before we can go regional or local or dedicated. That's correct. Why is that? She didn't go into too much detail about that. Basically because we're an over-the-road carrier. Uh-huh. So that's what we do. We drive all 48 states, Canada and Mexico. Uh-huh. 
logo, the enforce that everybody that comes with the company have to start off nationwide because that's what we do. Okay, and then after 90 days, we can pretty much choose if we want to go. Would that, would that, let me yes, ask you right. this. You can would apply that, for whatever becomes available. Oh, uh, okay. Would there be a problem with me doing that after 90 days? Because that would probably No, be, but it just, it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something specific, if, if it's not available, then you'll still be over the road until it becomes available. Oh, okay. If okay. there is something available, if it is something that you would like to grab, you can apply for it and do that. Oh, okay, so okay. So it's just 50 50 whether or not it's what you want, you know? Okay. What about, um, it may. What, what about, um, what, okay, so where's, so where's the terminals located at? Where, where do I have to come for orientation? Our headquarters is in Dallas, so you'd have to come to Dallas, Texas. You can live anywhere in the United States. Coming to Dallas is just putting you on payroll and issuing you your truck. Okay. From there, you'll be dispatched out. Um, our drivers are home at are gone at minimum 21 days and they're home for three. And basically once it's time for you to go home, your last route, your last route will be routed toward wherever home is. You know, by you saying, uh, by you saying be out for 21 days and home for three, <laughs> that's kind of, the way I, I know that's, I know that's normal. Like that's like one, like one home, like one day, for every week that per you're week. out, Correct. but the way you know That's the way you say it is kind of like you know it's kind of like scary to you know to some drivers like right. <laughs> All right, so how would right. I get? Well, out? I mean, I, I want you to, I want them to be to understand. You know, that's the realization of it. You'll be out 21 days and only home for three. I got you. I got you. How um, how would I get? How would you guys get me down there? We'll put you on a bus. <laughs> Now let me ask you this: If I prefer to fly or drive down, would you guys reimburse? Up to two hundred dollars. Okay. Is there a sign-on bonus with you guys? Uh, we do a we do a twenty-five hundred dollars sign-on bonus that'll be paid out in the course of a year, starting after your ninetieth day. We have five hundred in tuition reimbursement. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What about what about a pre-employment drug testing? So can I can I do all my can I do all my pre-employment stuff before I get the orientation? No, or, or you would have to you would have to do it during orientation. Oh, you would have to see a doctor and do your drug screening during orientation. What if I what if I have my uh, DOT card already? You're still gonna have to do it. Oh, okay. Uh, what's what's your policies on uh, on felons and drivers with D, DUIs or DWIs? How many DUIs or DWIs are we talking? Uh, just the ballpark. Uh, let's just say somebody that have it. I don't have it. I'm just asking generally. Well, we do accept it. You just can only have one. Oh, okay. What about what about felonies? What's, what's your policy on that? Or is that the same? Same scenario. We okay. accept it, but it depends on, it's a case-by-case -case basis. It depends on what it is, what for, how long, if you did any jail time, etc. Okay. So what about uh what about so those are things we would have to go over with you. Gotcha. What about uh what about uh for the testing? Is it hair follicles or urine? It can be either one. Oh we okay. do them both. Oh okay, okay. Um what would be a situation if you can't get no hair? Then the urine would be the way to go. I mean I won't be I won't be rejected if Right, where you know hair follicles um, last up to two years. Okay. So if you know in the back of your mind you've done anything in the last two years, you may want to wait it out. How long is orientation? Four days. Four days. Do we get paid for it? No. Oh, there's there's no pay for orientation. All right, so right. Do, so during the four days stay down there, uh, I'll be put up in a hotel. By myself. Correct. Well, if for your transportation, no, you have a roommate. What if I'm already? What if I'm a veteran driver? Though? You will still have a roommate. You being a veteran driver has nothing to do with you rooming with somebody. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Um. All right. So I got a quick question for you know for a, a newbie that's coming out of uh, that's coming out of that's coming out of school. 
uh, how long how long would they have to wait for a trainer after they come on with you guys? It's usually about a day or two. Oh, okay, okay. We have a lot of trainers, so it's usually pretty instant. Okay, okay. Uh, what's the CPM? What, what would be my starting CPM? Well, we start entry level at 36 cents. Okay, you said 36 cent for entry level. Well, what if, like I said, That's what, I'm, like I said, I'm I'm a four year to two. To right. So again, driver. I just mentioned that you'll get you'll get a penny per year of your experience. You'll start at entry level starts at 36, and you'll get a penny per year of your experience. Oh, okay. So for so I'll be so I'll 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 be coming in at 41 cent, right? If we can verify all four or five of your employment history with you driving, then yes, you'll start at forty forty one cents. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that wouldn't that that wouldn't be a problem because I haven't been I haven't been driving for that many companies. I try to I try to uh, be loyal to a company for at least a couple of years. Right. What's what, what's your what's your, what's your take on that? What's what's your take on drivers that has has been at more than I mean that been at multiple companies? Would you guys still consider them uh, It just depends. Depends on the overall picture. Okay. So it that's... depends on why you left those companies. If you were terminated, it just depends. Were there accidents? What was going on? Why are there so many companies? So it just we'll have to look at the overall picture. That's something that'll have to be interviewed. Okay. Per diem, is it offered or is it mandatory? Say it again. Per diem, is it offered and is it mandatory? Uh, your your low the the lows are for it. No 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 per uh, per diem it's it's like you know that some companies offer per diem on top of the on top of the on top of their wages, which is some is taxed and uh, and and some of it is not taxed. Right no it's it's all taxed. Oh, okay okay. You'll be on the W two. Okay. Uh, do you guys offer vacation and holiday pay? Um, holiday pay? No. They... I'm not... I'm not sure if they do. I know they give you vacation, but I know you work on the holidays. I'm not sure if they give you a specific amount for working on the holidays, but you will be working. Okay. What's the amount, what's the amount for the breakdown and detention pay? It's $20 an hour. Oh, okay. How, okay, so you guys also pay for layovers too, right? How often does layover happen to your budget? They don't happen often. Oh, okay, so I won't be I won't be sitting a lot, right? Because I like... I'm, That's I'm, great. Once I get out there, I like to move. I like to run. Uh, so we're hauling food, drinks, medicine. We're actually dealing with some of today's largest Fortune 500 companies. So dealing with food, drinks, and medicines, there is no no time for layovers. We have more loads than we have drivers. Okay, okay, that's good to hear. Um, I came across an article though because I was in, I got my tankers. So you know, you guys was one of the reasons why I started talking to some of the drivers because y'all have a tanker division. But I just came across an article stating that. Y'all terminated the division. We no longer have a tanker division. May I may I ask what happened? Um, there just wasn't enough work, and when when South Texas got that flood, it made it worse. So they decided to let it go. Yeah, I was I was in Te I was just in Texas. You talking about a couple of weeks ago when they had when, when it was flooded down there? Yeah, yeah. I, I was correct. I was stuck in that. <laughs> I was stuck in that. Yeah. Now that that was that was Mother Nature talking, so I had no choice but to but to sit then. But yeah, okay, right. okay. So wow, okay, yeah. Like I said, I got my I got my tankers endorsement, and uh, one of the drivers, well, one of the drivers I talked to before uh, the shutdown said that you know they was doing the oil fields, and I was talking to him about that. So, but mm -hmm. yeah. You know, after I read the article, I, you know, I, I'd rather ask than actually believe in, you know, what, what they put out over the internet. So, 
How many, uh, right. do you guys require hazmat? No. Oh, okay. Now, if y'all, if I get my hazmat, can, would you guys be able to reimburse me for it if I do decide to get we it? We will from not, because we don't, we don't have anything that requires it. So that's something you will have to do on your own. Okay, okay. How many miles I can average? Um, that's up to you. We're guaranteeing you 3,000 plus. Oh, okay. okay. More miles, more money. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, how how the miles calculated? I don't understand what you're asking me. Uh, is it calculated what by do you home? Mean? Is it calculated by home goods, zip code to zip code, Ram and Nally? Oh, I don't know. Now yeah, that that's a orientation question. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Do you guys? Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I I got you. I hear you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, do you guys reimburse for scale tolls and parking? Uh, we do not. We don't. You don't have to have steel toe boots. They just think they just need to be slip resistant. Oh, okay. So do you guys? So you guys got got the pre pass and the, and the, what's the other pass for the for the tolls? I believe so. Yes. We we can run tolls with you guys, right? I mean, we we can. Run. I believe so. Oh, okay, yes. okay, okay. All right. So back up to the home time policy, and you already said that you know you'll route me home. So I will be able to take the truck home with me, right? You're gonna be able to park it at the location as close to your address as we can get you. Okay, I'm kind of confused. So what you so said? So we'll I have you park at a secure location. It's close to your address. You cannot take it to your driveway. Say what? Well, I. What if I have what if I have a secure location? Because actually I Then do. you can send in pictures and they can approve it for you and determine whether or not they feel it's secure enough. Wow! Okay, okay, okay. So I guess you can't take it all the way all the way on. Okay. What's the maximum now you said uh for every for every week I get a day off, but what's the maximum yes. amount of days I can take off though? Okay. Uh, pet and rider policy? You can have a rider with you 365 days out of the year after your 90th day as long as they're 18 and older. Mm -hmm. If they're a child, they have to be at least 10. It can only be during the summer. Okay. Your pet cannot be labeled as an aggressive breed, mm -hmm. and it cannot weigh no more than 40 to 45 pounds. Okay. okay. What, kind of, uh, what kind of equipment do you guys have? We're working with Peterbilt, Freightliners, and Kenworth. Oh, okay. The T system. Only automatic. Oh, they, it's, you guys are automatic free? That, they're only automatic. Oh, okay. What's the, uh, what's, what's the governing speed at? I think it's 65. 65? Okay. Is, is there any more, uh, is there any more, like, you know, a little bit more on the cruise or 65 flat? I believe, I believe it's just 65. Again, that was the orientation question. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I see on the website that you guys have a, looks like uh, that you guys have a, a temperature, uh, a, a reefer trailers. What other, what that's other? That's correct. Uh, Remember, other than, only, that's it. Oh, that's that, it. We're that, only hauling food, drinks, and medicine. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. So that's. That's so, correct. Oh, okay. So y'all, y'all not even doing driving. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, uh, I think I got a, maybe one or two more questions. Uh, what's what's the what's what's the amenities inside the truck? Um, as far as what, darling? Uh, uh inverters, refrigerators. So refrigerators, TVs, material things, you have to put in the truck yourself. But there's a Qualcomm, you have your electric logs, you have the APU tri-pack, and your navigation system. That's, that's what's in the truck. Oh, okay. What about, what about a driver cam? A who? Driver cam. Forward facing. I believe there's a dash cam. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, no, there's not. Oh, there, oh, there's, there's not, oh, okay. okay. No. Awesome. Um, all right, well, yeah, 
that's uh that's 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 that's, that's some pretty good information. I, I think that's uh that's about all I need to know. Um Awesome. I, well, you keep know, doing I, a little bit of research. I'm sorry? Take some time to think about it. I will continue to do your research. Take some time and think about it. Continue to shop around. And if you do feel Stevens is the best choice for you, definitely give us a call. We'll love to move forward with you. Hey, I, I appreciate it. And what's your name again? My name is Brittany. Brittany, I appreciate the time that you're giving me, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have a, you're so very welcome. You have a blessed day. You too. All right, that was Stevens Transport. Not much information that I got out of the first recruiter, but the second recruiter came in and chopped it up real good. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you, what do you guys think of that 63, or uh, well not, what did I say 60? I, I flipped it, my fault. What do you guys think of that 36 cent though? What do you guys think of that? She said for every uh, she said for every year of your experience, you get one cent added on top of that 30 cents. But it's a base entry fee at 30 cents cent a mile. So if you're a brand new driver, then yeah, 30 cents cent. But as far as a veteran driver or an experienced driver, I don't know, 30 cents cent. You know that plus five forty one. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I should have asked? What I should have asked? I should have said something. What if I was a ten year veteran? Or yeah, what if I was a ten year driver? Then would I still get that extra one cent? Uh, as you guys already know. They shut down their uh, tanker division, so their tanker division is no longer valid. So, if you have your tankers and you decided that you want to get into a, a company that drives tankers, Stevens used to be that, but they're not no more. And like she said, you know, they they lost money, pretty much. They lost a lot of money in the tanker division, so they pretty much had to let it go. But uh, again. Uh, 90 days before you can go regional or local or dedicated so you pretty much have to put in 90 days worth of work over the road so if you're interested in doing that then that'll be okay for you but if you're if you're a driver like myself that's only interested in going regional or dedicated or or local then I, I don't think Stevens is going to work out for you. Uh, like I said before, you know, the first recruiter, uh, kind of rude, you know, put me on hold for like, for like 10 minutes. And I, I, and like I said, I guess she just, she just forgot about me and she was like pretty much in a hurry or whatever the case. But, uh, but when you call these recruiters and you get a recruiter like that, that's, that's, that's pretty much that's trying to rush you 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 don't want that you want to conversate with that person to get an understanding about the about the company like I told her I have talked to a couple of Stevens drivers you know what I'm saying and some of them drivers you know like I said you got to take what they say as a mitts bag all right a grain of salt okay um, she didn't let me talk either. She she didn't let me talk. She pretty much over talked me, you know. But like I said, the second recruiter came in, knocked it out. Uh, Stevens Transport. If you guys are interested in it, give them a call. You know what I'm saying? Give them a call. If you're from Ohio, they are hiring out of Ohio. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, I hope. Uh, I hope this little bit of information helps you out in your decision making process. Um, what do you guys, who you want me to call next? Let me know. Get your suggestions in now. Hit me in the comments below. If you have any questions for me to ask these uh, recruiters, leave that in the comments below. Until then, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, 
comment, and hit that bell for more videos like this if you like these type of videos. Rock out with your boy. And don't forget the coffee. And I appreciate the, well, they didn't leave a name for me, but hey, I appreciate that cup of coffee, man. I went to Love's, and actually I didn't get no coffee. I, I went to Love's and got some tea. So, but still, I appreciate it. Guys, hook your boy up, man. Hook your boy up with some coffee. The link is in the description, all right? Until next time, man, I really do got... I, until next time, man, I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. I'll holler at you later.